Hey guys, um, it's going to be short and sweet tonight because I am running late for dance rehearsal, but here you go. Um, yesterday, so let's see, we've talked about drinking more water and we've talked about walking and eating less sugar. Tonight, um, I'm running out with no hair done and no makeup on, but it's super important to let you know that you need to eat more whole foods. And by whole foods, I mean things that don't have ingredients, they are ingredients. So apples, oranges, um, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds. I'm not a big fan of grains and in generally a grain is a ingredient as opposed in, in like bread. You don't normally eat them by themselves other than say oatmeal, but I'm looking at things like spinach, kale, lettuce, your non-starchy vegetables are what you should be filling the vast majority of your plate with. That is the absolute healthiest thing. They have the most vitamins and minerals. And then around that, you're going to put other things. Now, if you're vegan or vegetarian, obviously you're going to be using all plant sources. So you're going to be looking at avocados and coconuts for your healthy fats. You're going to be looking at seeds and nuts, okay? You want to be sparing with your starchy vegetables. They can really spike your insulin and your body almost treats them like sugar. Starch turns to sugar in the body and your body responds accordingly. So you don't want that to happen, but you do want to have lots of vitamins and minerals. Now, fruit wise, you're looking at your non high sugar fruits. So your berries, your apples, especially the tart ones. Um, those are things that are going to have the least impact in your glycemic load and tons and tons. So the darker the color of a fruit or vegetable, the more vitamins and minerals it contains. So you want to get lots of colors. Eat your blueberries, eat your strawberries, you know, look at all of those different things. And you want to eat them whole, especially the fruits and vegetables. You want to have that fiber in there because that fiber is super good for you. Now, if you're not vegan and vegetarian, you're going to add things like eggs and meat, you know, to your diet, fish, things along those lines. But you want whole, real foods, not processed crap. I know plenty of people who go vegan and they're eating utter crap and it's still no good for them. I mean, did you know that Oreos are vegan? Believe me, my kids heard that and thought that meant, oh, hey, we can eat all we want because if they're vegan, they must be healthy. And we had to have a little discussion about the difference between vegan and healthful because they're not necessarily synonymous. So you just really watch the number of processed foods you're eating. There's a lot of ingredients in there and you know, simple rule of thumb, if you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. So like I said, make sure you get lots and lots of non-starchy vegetables and then fill out the rest of your plate as needed to get your healthy fats and the other parts of your diet, okay? so. I hope you have a great day. I need to run off to dance rehearsal, so I'm going to run off and go. And I hope all of you have a really blessed night.